All right, people, welcome back. More Vime and Y. So today is Friday, and that means that I am using my signature Bell deck, uh, Super Vice Bell, one that runs Doom Shaman and stuff like that. And of course, Super Vice, because it's called Super Vice Bell. But this deck has been snuggling. It's been snuggling, people, and I hate when this deck snuggles because I want it to do well, but it's just like, damn. Like, out of all the decks that I got, you know, chained Dan, this one hurt the most, you know? Uh, it's, it's just the, the snuggles have been real, and, you know, hopefully I can. Uh, at least do some plays in this video. I don't want to just outright just get my butt kicked. <laughs> my opponent here has no extra deck for some odd reason. Interesting. Ooh, got Dark Reffer though. So we can actually set up and, of course, do some plays. So, uh, go ahead and normal summon. Okay. And get a main phase one, of course. Drew Ultimate Nightmare, which, no surprise. Yeah. Number generator, let's go. But, hey, at least I got the hero. Dark Reffer. Yes, the hero. Um... I'm asking if my summon is good. But I guess it is fine him to have no response. Go ahead and get my fact. Pitch you bell. So for those of you who are new to my channel, hopefully I can show you some of this deck's moves. So pretty much it's Doom Shaman, a little bit of E-Bell, because of course Doom Shaman summons E-Bell. So, you know, out of all the, you know, terror-related E-Bell, like this one pulls it off the bat. And then, of course, I throw in Tinker as my uh, tuner, Fiend tuner. So Doom Shaman, some Tinker, Sync into all them great uh, Sync 8. So definitely going to go ahead and send Doom Shaman. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and send Tinker, because it doesn't really seem like I need E-Bell right now. And I do got two revival cards, so I can start going on more of the offensive. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to battle phase and attack and see what I'm working with first. Yeah. Okay, seems like some kind of sacky burn deck, so. Yeah, no extra deck. Yeah, it definitely seems like some kind of burn deck, so. Seems like it might be better to go ahead and go on the offensive than the defensive. Like I said, this deck has good offensive capabilities, good defensive capabilities. This takes a little while to set up, and that's the problem. If I don't open up right, I can. Uh, this, that, this that hand could be fucking great, and then sometimes it could just be like, oh my god, you know. And like I said, without a wobble chain, I've been slowed down a lot. You know, I used to run things like, uh, you know, Boom Mountain Butter Spy, you know, shit like that. All right. If special summon this way, this card cannot be targeted by your opponent's card back. This one, control another trap monster. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> you want to use your only regeki to kill a monster that's already served its purpose? More power to you. Say like, really, nigga? This man just summoned fucking battle fader. Are you guys ready? I'm assuming that you're gonna summon an Egyptian god, actually. You know, you get an additional tribute summon. So, are you gonna go ahead and summon an Egyptian god monster? Maybe? Possibly? Because I don't get the point of normal summoning this card, and then activating card of hand. Which, of course, gives you, uh, this turn you could tribute summon one monster in addition to your normal summon. Unless you're planning on summoning an Egyptian god with these three monsters. In which case? Hmm. Well, it depends on which Egyptian god you summon. Actually, you know what? Maybe it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Looking pretty well. Am I right? You're gonna go ahead and summon an Egyptian god card? Am I reading you like a fucking book? <laughs> Read you like a book, bitch. <laughs> That's fine. I can handle Egyptian gods. He just can't be targeted. That's fine. I can handle him. Used up all your cards, all your resources to drop this Egyptian god just for me to kill him. I'll take the 4,000. Life points don't mean shit, as long as I don't lose, so. Whoo! That's a busted ass card, but it's cool. It's cool. So, like I said, for those of you who are new to the channel, pretty much, let me show you one of the things that this deck does, and of course, why it's called Super Icy Bell, but I'm not gonna do that this turn. Unless he quits. If he quits, then I guess I can show you after he quits. Use my normal summon or effect. Effect. Summon a fiend. Tinker. Sync 8. And I had the perfect card for Obelisk Tormentor. Hot Red. Tinker Effect. Let me go ahead and see the top card. Do I want an Oasis? Sure, I'll take it. Hot Effect. Kill your Obelisk. Bye bye, Obelisk. 
Get off my field. Away with you. Shoo shoo. And put that obelisk back in the graveyard. Thank you. And then I'll go ahead and slap you in the face for fucking 4,000. That's how you end up between God cards, bitch. Thanks. And now you are top ducking and you have to deal with a 4,000 beater. Oh, man. Don't you wish you could just top deck in the Regeki right now? Oh, wait, you already fucking used it. Like okay, you said, you could have summoned the obelisk and obelisk could have punched her in Dark Griffin. You could have saved your Regeki. I don't know why you threw a Regeki at me. Like, I, I don't know what's up with that. Oh, and now you're going to give me life points back after you punch me in the face with the obelisk? Like, shit. All right. All right, people. Let's wrap this duel up. So even if my opponent quits, I'm going to pretty much show you uh, one of the reasons why this deck is called Surprise Bell. So we're going to let it activate called the Haunted, which, of course, I'm going to Doom Shaman. And Doom Shaman is a new Jonai monster. You can like new Silent Doom, Swing of Memories, things like that. Yep, that's, that's the game. That is game. So you can go ahead and quit, but I'm going to go ahead and play with myself a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and activate Super Vice, which, of course, equips two Jonai monster gains effect. So I will, of course, get Doom Shaman effect. Go ahead and summon Pinker. Sync 8. Yes, this is a Ubel deck. <laughs> ah, pff, void. Why not? And then it will be Super Rice Effect. Effect. Chain Tinker. Tinker is mandatory, so I have to look, even though, you know, I'm going to use Tinker multiple times. I want Tomato? Hell no. Nah. I'm already set up. And then summon a normal monster. Doom Shaman. <laughs> then I'll go ahead and use my normal summon for Effect. Effect. Go ahead and summon Tinker. Sink 8 again, yep, <laughs> yep, I'm just playing with myself now, sink 8 again, we'll go ahead and go into, yeah, let's go to Bills, why not, why not, Tinker Effect, mandatory, of course, uh, do I want to swing, sure, more sink 8s, why not, why the fuck not, set that, <laughs> fucking Bills, Hot Red, Void Elder, 9,000 damage, damn, whew, let's get another duel in, <laughs> see, like I said, when, when I open up really well, I had the traps done too, uh, like I said, when I open up really well, I can pull off plays, but, you know, like I said, it, I, I definitely rely on, oh, oh my god, it's the green Power Ranger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to beat this guy, because I'm not the biggest fan of Power Rangers. I'm all about the Kamen Rider, all day. <laughs> Kamen Rider, all day. But, you know, it just takes me a while, because I have to get set up, you know? Hmm. This hand's great, actually, you know? Depending on what his back row is, this hand's actually really good. Discard special, discard... Discard special effect. Discard. Oh yeah, actually. Hmm. Nah. Actually, I was thinking for a second there. You know, open up with these. Of course, I run one of each, so it's a number generator. But I don't care because Doom Shaman is the pivotal card in this deck. So me opening up like this isn't bad. It's just kind of bad just because I would love to go into like, you know, Dagger's I, I don't want, I want to overextend, but then I don't want to overextend just because, you know, my opponent here, I want, you know, if I had like a trap stone or something. Yeah, I decided to go ahead and take the duel slow. And we'll go ahead and pitch. You bow. I said, you're on a 60 card deck and only 14 extra. Like, you had enough to go ahead and put. 20 more cards in the deck than you should, but then you couldn't even put one more card in extra. Like, alright. I'm running two Doom Shaman if you saw it because uh, I'm just sick and tired of getting bombless. Like, if Doom Shaman gets bombless, that's crushed. I'm like, fuck it. I'll go ahead and play two. I'll go ahead and play two. <laughs> so, like I said, we opened up really well. Like, fan fucking fantastic. Just, like I said, if I overextend too much, I'm gonna get hit with the back row, so I don't trust it. Wow, and then I draw Terra, so. Thank God for Dark Griffer, so. Thank God for Dark Griffer. So we'll go ahead and just send the other Doom Shaman. Because like I said, fuck it. If he bottomless is one, at least I still have the other one. It's not like, oh, summon Doom Shaman. Bottomless, alright, that's game. You know, I can't do none of my plays anymore. I'm drawn into like silent Doom Shaman memories that only work for Doom Shaman. You know, this deck is revolves around Doom Shaman. Doom Shaman is the is the planet and you know, Tinker is a moon and Ubel is a moon, but it's all about planet Doom Shaman. So Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Armageddon Knight. And you're probably going like, hmm. Because uh, I was thinking in the first second too, I was thinking about summoning Tinker and then going into like Goya Guardian and like baiting out some back row, but you know what? Fuck it. I'm down on resources. And whose fault is that? It's actually mine, because I neg with Dark Greffer. But uh, because I'm down on resources and negging with Dark Greffer, you're getting Exiton. Okay, simple as that. Because I negged myself with Dark Greffer, you're getting Exiton. 
Uh, like I said, Dark Graffer is definitely a peacekeeper in the deck. I love Dark Graffer. He's the best. He's the best. And his deck has got gradually better over time because, you know, Rota going up is like, yeah! You know, and I had a DT to level chain for the deck and everything was just fantastic. And then chain got banned. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you have a response, go ahead. Yep. Yep, that's fine. A powerful black horn stopping any inherent summon. Like, tell me that card's not power. Any inherent summon. Any, any, any inherent summon. Just like, nah, costless black horn. Like, say, what? So. Nah, nah, nope, nope. <laughs> Open dwell again. <laughs> Silent Doom. So now since I know he runs black horns, of course we're gonna be in some deep shit. As of course as soon as I try to synchro something, he's gonna black horn me. I said I was hoping to get out that exit on. We're gonna go ahead and summon Doom Shaman. You got that bottomless? Like I said, he's like, he's like, you don't give me time to react. Then I don't. Now I'm giving you time to react, and you don't fucking answer me. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate supervise. I'm gonna get my effect. The funny thing is, if he MSTs it, then I get to go ahead and summon a no must from a graveyard, i.e., my other Doom Shaman. That's that's an interesting thing. That's an interesting thing. I must say. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and summon Tinker. Synchro Shotgun. Let's go ahead and block one of his cards, hopefully, with Void Ogre. But, like I said, he's running Black Horn, so if he Black Horns me, then fuck it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it's Supervised Effect. Supervised Effect. Chain Tinker. Tinker is mandatory, so I'm going to see the top card. Don't want to call the Haunted. I'll take it. It's a little slow, but it's better than nothing. You know, I, I, I like taking the Revival. He said Tinker puts in that work. We could run a lot of other scenes, but Tinker is, like I said, putting in that work. So, Russ, I'm going to use my normal, oh, normal summon for effect. Effect. We'll go ahead and summon Tinker. Let's go ahead and go into Beals. You know, Red Ogre plus a Beals, no complaints there, right? Tinker effect. It's mandatory, even though I know what it is. I have to say it and, you know, decide. Damn, and then my opponent's like, quit, quit. Like, you, you look at, look what you have, you still got this back row. Like I said, you, you, I mean, I said black warning my, uh, my, uh, my ex time. It's not a bad choice. I must say, that's a great choice. It's just, you know, that wasn't the, the pinnacle of my plays. Damn, I am moving up really well today. Today, it just seems like it's, just, mm. <laughs> Keep me in a good mood for Fridays. It's easy, easy. I'm just like, ah, fucking Yu-Gi-Oh on Fridays. You know, by the time Friday comes around. Is G on? Is G on? Is he on? Oh, yeah, he's on. Yep, G is on. Cool start, bro. I should do a G. See, G, do me. <laughs> do me, G. I'll beat that ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me show you the power you bell. <laughs> G, G, G. <laughs> Stupid. Ah, uh, alright. One more door. Mm. So, usually John Dim Shamans is the worst in this deck just because. You know, which I was the pivotal of that, and you know, it's hard to get him out. And you saw Ubel Exceeds, it was hard. I, I couldn't get Ubel out of my hand, I couldn't duel. And it's the same thing. Yeah, if I draw Ubel, it's not that bad because Doom Shaman can summon Ubel out of my hand. But drawing Doom Shaman is the worst, so. But, you know, we got Pot, we got Foolish, so, you know. Oh, really? All I need is a Dark Greffer. I get a Dark Greffer, and we're going to town, people. We're going to town. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and f Foolish. Go ahead and Foolish. I said. Okay, good. Thing I didn't pot, because then none of this would have helped me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Like I said, the, and the three wrote a three dark refer, so hopefully one of the two. Grab Doom, sh you know, grab it, Doom Shaman, Pitch, send you Bell, and we're all set up. Uh, go ahead and drop Tinker for right now. And go ahead and activate pot. Smoke weed every day. Play that pot. Nope. Nope. There's Dark Graffer. <laughs> Thank you. I love you, Dark Graffer. 
uh, hopefully he just doesn't get hit with back row. Because, you know, I would love to go ahead and pitch and special summon Dark Grefford just so I don't get hit with back row. But, of course, I can't do that right now. Maybe I should just take it slow. Oh, fuck it. I'm going to take it slow. I'm going to take it slow. I get 8,000 luck points. I'm going to take it slow. Because, like I said, I would love to just go pitch special. That way, because, uh, of course, if I just go normal summon and he hits me with bottomless, I, don't, I can't even pay. I can you know. But, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So, here comes Beals. Obviously. Yeah. That's fine. I can do that, too. <clears throat> I can do that, too. So. Sorry, bro. I said that was my fault, so. I'm going to discard. Special summon. Okay. So, if you want to hit my dark graph for the back row or something now, go ahead. I got Doom Shaman in the grave. That's all I wanted. <clears throat> I can handle. I can handle the Beals. I can handle it right now, as long as he doesn't, you know, hit my do my one Doom Shaman I got right now with back row, because that would just suck, because I don't have my other one prepared, so. I can just have him do. So, bottomless is, of course, like, huge would just be the worst. Like, huge. But if, he, but if the back row is nothing, then I can, I can handle this, because I can just go and... <clears throat> and play the one monster that you really don't see in, in Sync 8 decks, and that is, of course, him. Go ahead and send it. Which is beautiful. Brings a tear to my every, every time, every single time I do it. We're going to enact my Supervise. Uh, I'm actually going to set these, because I, I can go into Void Ogre first, and then go into Dark End. So, I'm going to get my effect. Tinker. Synchro Shulkan. I mean, yeah, at this point, there's probably no back row back there to stop me, but that's fine. And we'll go Super Rice. He's probably like, oh. Wow, so you didn't want to negate my fucking shit first. Well, I'm going to negate that, of course. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. You know what? That's fine. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm trying to think how the chain would work. So, I think. That would go off, that would go off. You would chain, so I'm going to go ahead and say negate. So, effects, so, supervised pack, and tinker. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep, yep, yep. So, like I said, supervised, <laughs> supervised effects. So that was like a chain link fucking, it's because it was, well, tinker's mandatory, so tinker would be first. So, tinker, supervised. You're responding to my summon to bottom with Void Ogre, Fact Veil. That was like a Chainlink 5. Holy shit. Supervise and Tinker. That was like a Chainlink 5. I'll take that. And some Doom Shaman. Use my normal summon for. Act like you went, you went pretty ham to go ahead and stop and get rid of my Void Ogre. So, hey, more power to you, sir. So, hopefully, this last card right here is still another piece of back row to handle this because you're about to get freaking Dark End. So, and Tinker Effect again, and let's, and then you go ahead and chain. Tinker's mandatory, therefore, it's the first thing in the chain. End effect. Go ahead and send you to the graveyard. Too bad you use your effect veil on my Void Ogre. Then my Void Ogre wasn't the, tr the threat. I just wanted to negate some back row. It was no. Synchro. Synchro. Doom. Shaman. And Tinker. Dot seventeen. You can play your mirror force, but attack for twenty one. I lose five hundred attack and defense, and I can just target target one monster your opponent controls. Pay five hundred. I mean, lose five hundred attack and defense, and then attack very well. So it's twenty one. There we go. Go ahead, sir. Uh, to, I don't know why you didn't use the bottomless on my Doom Shaman. 
I guess you didn't know my plays. Like I said, that bomb was on my Doom Shaman women like, ah! Oh! But nope. <laughs> so, and this straight up just says, that's fine. You say, that's totally fine. You wouldn't have changed anything, so that's fine. I could target one monster my opponent controls, period. So, that's good. It said, if, if you knew my deck, you would have definitely bombed with my Doom Shaman. And that would have been like the worst. I mean, I have another one in the deck, but. Okay. Stupid. Should have waited for when I declared my attack, fool. That was dumb. Alright. Dark End Effect. Let's go ahead and, and end this duel. Alright, yeah. This duel's over. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let's end this duel. Doom Shaman. My normals. Yep. Alright. Yep, 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 that was dumb. No, I said, <laughs> of course, Book of Moon. When you put my monster down, uh, did I attack with the monster? No. Was the monster summoned this turn? No. Then I can really, that can literally flip back up. So not only did you just waste your Book of Moon, but I actually gained my attack back. Because <laughs> I went face down and went back up, so I removed that minus attack. So, I actually went back up to 26, and then I dropped back down to 21, so... Good job. Like I said, you should have waited for me to attack. If you would have waited for me to attack, you st actually, you still would have lost because I went Dark End Effect Sand, then I would have just went Summon. Actually, if you would have Book of Moon my Doom Shaman, 2017, 20, you would have lived. You would have lived. No, you messed up twice. That's twice. Yeah. But hey, hindsight's 2020, 20, like I said. Definitely, with the plays I was doing with Doom Shaman, he should have definitely bombed with my Doom Shaman. But he's like, yeah, Ben of the Seven, White Ogre. And I'm like, oh, negate. And he's like, Veiler. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Hey, that, get rid of White Ogre. I don't need him. I don't need him. <laughs> I'd much rather go ahead and have a, uh, does that mean, no, no, he drew into the Book of Moon, but six, I was going to say, what, was this another set card, Book of Moon, like, no, 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 it was MST, you know, he had Bombless and MST, he MST'd me, and then reset a new card, which is the Book of Moon, so he top deck into the Book of Moon, okay, okay, all right, people, I'm going to go ahead and call that, so, of course, this is uh, the lineup, for if you're new to the channel, this is the lineup for Vitamin Y, for right now, like I said, but we're actually changing it up, next week, all five days, we're going to either use decks from past Vibe and Wise uh, or testing I haven't, I've haven't i done but you really haven't added. And, you know, maybe we'll go ahead and see if we want to add some uh, of those one of those decks onto the regular lineup of Vibe and Wise. So, changing up for both new and old. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it episode. So, I hope that you guys enjoy. And uh, Michael, Michael Ryder, Michael Ryder, if you're watching right now, uh, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Shout out to Michael Ryder. <laughs> So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and yeah, see you guys uh, tomorrow with the league. You know, weekends, take, take weekends, take the weekends off of the norm on the channel. But it's league time, people, so it's probably what you guys came here for, but uh, hopefully you stayed for the other content. Like I said, hopefully I've entertained you guys, because you guys hit that sub button, but you got, most of you guys stayed, and I really do appreciate it. So I guess there's something that you like, right? So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and yeah, see you guys tomorrow with the league, and Sunday too. And then I'll be back Monday with more Vitamin Y with, like I said, the five decks of different Vitamin Y. So, look forward to it. Alright people, thanks for watching.